Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Like other almanacs, our aim is to tell you a little bit about our past, our present, and events in the near future. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Patrick Henry is perhaps the preeminent Impressionist painter from Worcester County. Full disclosure, Pat and I are friends. We go way back, so I'm a little biased. He's not only one of the best-known artists in the area, but also a really nice guy. I recently met with him in his studio and asked him to tell me how some of his painting series from the recent past have taken him out of the genre most people know him for. The backdrop for the paintings was uh, downtown Ocean City around the inlet with Trimper's Rides being the, in the forefront of the images, in particular the carousel, which is, I'm also a history buff, so that was a great backdrop. And it was so funny about the series, it was received positive and negative because some people, the horses, which are the intentions, full of drama, um, some people couldn't take that. Some people couldn't take that I had moved away from scenics. And so, you know, as soon as somebody tried to box me in, I gravitate. So, um, <clears throat> the next series that I did um, was um, In Different Lights. And it was this, this sort of crossover into scenes from New York, Chicago, really kind of biting the bullet, taking a, what could have been perceived as a serious um, risk in going out of your market, quote unquote, and, and doing scenes that are totally different. But again, and, and again, the intention was experimenting with some colors and, and now it's evolved to this series now. The title is Moments, subtitle, in color, texture, light, and geometry, where in my, in my painting life, my painting career, I've gone full circle. I feel like I've gone back to high school and painting for the sheer joy. This work will be exhibited at the Ocean City Center for the Arts during the month of August 2015. Patrick says tackling new subject matter helps him to grow as an artist. It's a, it was a very satisfying series for me because I went back to my artist child. I have, since the age of 14 or 15, had a serious passion for the process of oil painting. I have, a, I have used acrylics, watercolors. Lately, I've been doing a series of pen and ink sketches, but oils is my love, and so for the past um, almost 50 years, it's been oil painting. I have always walked with this strong inner voice, and I'm very curious. I study everything. Travel, they had said, you know, really opens the minds of artists. And sure enough, um, it was no way I could come back here and look at those images and, and see a few that I want to try that. I want, I want to go um, to a realm other than somebody want me to paint this or that and to, you know, just, just explore. Pat plans to take a break from exhibitions while he works on a variety of subjects, including still life, nature, and people and images from his files. During my visit, he was working on a painting of a group of children at a playground. The painting was in its earliest stage with the composition and some of the values blocked in with russet burnt sienna. This, this one here was from um, um, my, my photo inventory. My mother was center coordinator for Head Start for years and years, and it was a scene of the kids. I was describing it to a friend of mine, and it's 20 Head Start children. And when a child was born and, you know, they're young and being nurtured, there's so much promise, so much promise. And because of the events we have seen, you can see how much the world starts to eat at that promise. Some children, by being nurtured, make it through. So I was thinking, these little children, you know, three, four, five years old, you know, at the height of promise, this image was taken like 
30 some years ago. Where, I wonder, where are they now? I wonder. And each one of them have their own different body language. This one has a security blanket. And I wonder about this one little white boy, how in the sea of black faces, where does he stand with race relations now? Patrick sees his work as a spiritual calling. Advances in technology have changed the type of opportunities for employment. Patrick feels that the call to creativity can provide a much needed outlet for young people trying to find their way. I know for myself when I work on a pen and ink sketch or when I paint, I go into a, a prayer-like um, state that I don't want to come out of but I know, you know, you have responsibilities with the world, but it will give young people some good quality um, time instead of acting out the way some of them do. As much at 63 as I was at 13 or 14, uh, just mesmerized by how you can take these globs of color and make something come alive. And that, um, is where I feel I am in, in this stage of my life. Get links to Patrick's website, henryfinearts.org, and his Facebook page at our website. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters eatdrinkbyart.com for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.